guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video here at CES Motorsport. We have another Supra, big surprise. But today we're gonna actually be tuning, bench unlocking and tuning this one as well as the XHP Trans Flash. So in the last video, you guys saw us do all of the full bolt-ons onto another Supra. However, we didn't tune it. And a lot of you guys were like, what's the point? That customer had his own individual concerns and that's why he went that route. This is going to be our Supra build package. So we have this whole thing available on our website. And basically you can just buy the entire package, send us your car. We're gonna unlock the DME for you. We're gonna get it tuned. We're gonna on all of the performance parts. Also do XHP as well as some dyno runs and tuning on the dyno to make sure it's good as well as some street logs to make sure that you can drive it while on the street. So in the last video, the Supra that had all the full bolt-ons but it didn't have the tune made just under 400 wheel horsepower. So this is gonna be a good video to show you guys the difference between doing the exact same modification, similar modifications, and just adding that tune to show you how much more power you'll actually get. Let's get into the video. All right, so these boys are starting to remove all of the factory pieces that we need to remove in order to install the new stuff. We've got the VRSF downpipe. We have the fuelet ethanol analyzer. We have the FTP charge pipe. We have the MST full intake. And then we're also gonna be doing a bench unlock on this car because it is a uh, factory locked DME. So I'm gonna show you guys what we do for that process. Pretty simple, we just pull out the DME, plug it into our computer over there, and then we patch in a new file and we're able to actually tune it. The tuning is gonna be done by MHD. And then lastly, we'll be doing the XHP transmission flash. So it should be interesting. All right, so these boys are gonna finish working on getting in some of the bolt-ons. I'm gonna go over here and actually bench unlock this DME that we just pulled. Pretty easy process. We actually have our computer over here. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. Everyone does it kind of differently, but basically we use KTAG and we read and pull the patch file, send it out, and they give us a new patch file. Then we go ahead and write that into this DME and then we are officially tunable.
All right, our new file is in for the DME. So we're gonna go ahead and write that to our locked DME and then we will be tunable. All right, and now this DME goes back in the car and we can officially tune. decided that what we're gonna do is we're going to actually do a run without flashing anything onto the car. So the car has no tune, just the bolt-ons and everything that we put on the car without a tune. So this will be very similar to what you guys just saw in one of the previous videos with the six port Supra that we did similar bolt-ons, but with the AWE exhaust system. So we didn't do the AW exhaust system, it's a factory exhaust, which actually flows really well in these cars. They are quite efficient and they work really, really well. So we're gonna do a run without a tune, no flashing, nothing. And then we will go ahead and do the 93 stage two OTS octane tune and then the E50 custom blend tune. So you'll see the stages of this car just incrementally get more and more power, more and more torque as we go through it. Should be interesting. What you guys just saw on the screen were the different dyno numbers for the stock no tune, just the bolt-ons, two port versus the six port. Um, you'll see that there's actually quite a big difference when it comes to the two port and the six port without any tune. Now, once you go into tuning, they become about the same. It's a level playing field. But if you're not interested in tuning the car, the six port is going to have more power than the two port. So we just did two runs without any tune, just stock car, no MHD, nothing. Now we're gonna be tuning in the MHD 93 stage two file. We'll do a run with that and see how much more it makes. And then we'll be switching over to the E50, which is gonna be the highest level for this tuning session on this car.
All right, so everything that you just saw was no tune, nothing, and then into the 93 stage two tuning. And now we are going to throw in the ethanol. We're gonna be doing an E50 custom tune on MHD by Pure Boost. Fabian over at Pure Boost is going to be tuning the car and we're gonna go through the paces with that and we'll show you guys where we end up. Pretty cool to see the stages. I had a lot of people in the other video asking if they were to just add a tune to the car about how much horsepower would it pick up versus just having the bolt-ons with no tune. And it is about 100 horsepower on a two port. So we went from 345 up to 445 just from adding the tune. So time to add in the ethanol and let's see where we end up. All right, so that is where we are going to leave it. 512, 550, 551 in that area for torque. Looks really good, super solid, man. I mean, this is a very, very easy setup. This is basically exactly what I was running on my Supra, but I had the Pure 800. So I was able to make a little over 600 wheel. So you could run this exact same setup at the Pure 800 and get about another 100 wheel horsepower out of it. But it just goes to show you with the tune how much it actually wakes up the car. As soon as you do that 93 OTS stage two tune, you're gonna be able to get up to about 450 and then if you wanna break into 500s, just go with the E-Blend tune, E50, that's gonna put you above 500. Feels really good. Really good. So every time that we build up one of these cars and do tuning on the dyno. We always take it out for a street test just to make sure that we don't get any drivetrain malfunctions or anything goofy like that. And um, just to make sure that the car feels good. And this one's obviously gonna be great. This is a pretty like straightforward package that we offer, so. ready to go home the customer's gonna be happy all right so that is going to wrap up today's video hopefully you guys learned something today hopefully this video brought you a little bit of value if you guys have a v58 or a supra if you're interested in dynoing tuning performance any of this stuff hit us up sales at ces motorsport or you can email me directly thickwhips at ces motorsport.com but just like that that's gonna wrap this one up see you in the next one peace